All right, guys, welcome back to the hillside. And today, uh, we got some strawberry popcorn. So I got some of these seeds at the local like grocery store, drug store. I forget back in April or May, and it was one of these like you know get your kids to grow stuff. And it was uh, it probably had maybe ten to twelve seeds inside of it. it. Cost like a quarter. So anyhow, I planted them all out, and I end up with about twenty eight ears of corn off of about ten to twelve plants. So averaging over two ears per stalk. This uh, strawberry popcorn, I had a couple uh, large plants that got about five feet tall, but for the most part, they're about three and a half to four feet tall. And this one here in front of you, this is about the biggest one that I got. This is a nice size uh, popcorn. You can see where it gets the name strawberry popcorn because it is all, uh, you know, this reddish purple color, but it does kind of look like a strawberry. And that being said, some of them turned out to be extremely small. So some of the plants got bigger than the other ones and that's fine, but I mean, it does look like an almost there you go, like a little bit of a strawberry in a way. But anyways, um, so this is a very decorative popcorn. I mean, it's red, it's got the Halloween theme, you know, these dudes are hanging out with the uh, with the uh, popcorn here on the centerpiece of the table here. So yeah, you can decorate with this, but you can also eat it. Uh, strawberry popcorn, It's uh, it pops up to a much smaller uh, when it's popped because I mean, just look at these kernels. I mean, they're not huge. But look at the color of that, that nice uh, reddish purple hue to all these seeds. There you go. So, I mean, it's really easy to plant. It didn't take up any space in the garden. Uh, I actually had some cabbages and I think some maybe some Chinese cabbage as well at the slugs or something got to it. So there was kind of like a waste and I had that 25 cent uh, packet of seeds. So I figured, you know, I might as well just use the space, see what happens. No big deal. Made two little small rows, not very long at all. And I was thinking that it may not even be enough to really properly pollinate because they say you need to plant in blocks of four and have you know, X amount of, uh, you know, plants to get proper. But I mean, other than like some of these just at the tip right there that didn't get fully, fully uh, pollinated, you have a couple little skips right there, blanks, parts on the cob. But, you know, all in all, for the most part, they're all fairly good size um, ears. And this is like I said, you're not going to. You know completely supplement your popcorn needs for the entire year by growing just a couple plants but you know like i said you paid 25 cents for a packet of seeds and let me just get some over here okay so how many seeds are in this i mean i don't know i could probably take it out and count it but anyways i mean if you save just one ear of corn like this and these things are completely viable uh, for next season you could plant this out and have exponentially more uh, you save a couple ears, plant those out. So, I mean, corn is one of those things that saving the seeds, you can totally multiply uh, your uh, your crop for next year. It, it stores well, you know, after the holiday is over, after probably Halloween and Thanksgiving pass, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, shuck all this corn, save all these uh, seeds in a, uh, like just a glass jar, keep an airtight container, and it's going to last through the winter. Um, like I said, I'm going to save some to plant for next year, but I'm also going to eat some. So let me go ahead and take you into the kitchen. I'm going to pop a couple of these, uh, these kernels and show you the difference between the strawberry popcorn and maybe the, uh, you know, the, the typical movie popcorn or the popcorn you get at home that you, that you get from the grocery store and pop. So let me go ahead and zip into the kitchen and show you what we're doing. All right, guys. So here we are in the kitchen, uh, just a little bit of light oil. Throw the seeds in there, and they're popping along. I mean, it couldn't be easier than that. You guys know how to make popcorn, but just check it out. These little guys, they don't pop up to be full size like you would probably normally expect from a uh, you know bigger kernel, but that's fine. You know, this is going to be uh, it's just ornamental. It's a nice little snack, little little treat. There you go. The thing is, probably most of it. Give it another second just to make sure. Turn the heat off. All right. So out of all those seeds, I had two, two that did not pop. So that's not too bad. I mean, it's just a couple seeds. It wasn't even an entire, entire cobs. Were, oh, there it goes. <laughs> so anyways, so yeah, so let's see. That was, any blanks in there? One. So I had one that didn't pop, and I think it just did. So pretty close to 100% uh, on the popping. Go ahead and risk burning myself here, but guys... I mean, it's not as big, but it's all right. Just gonna focus on it. There you go. Try it out. Oh yeah, that's good popcorn. Nice, white, and fluffy. This is a bigger, bigger pop right there, but 
check it out. So yeah, if you guys are interested in growing a unique crop or something different, strawberry popcorn, I definitely recommend doing it. It doesn't take up that much space. It tastes great. It's ornamental. You can use it for decorations. And if you don't want to use it as popcorn, that's fine. The decorating um, possibilities are just are absolutely worth it all the same. All right, guys, I couldn't make that popcorn without at least giving you a taste test, the real, a real good taste test. All right, so check it out, man. This popcorn pops up white. It is awesome. It's fluffy. It's small. You can even probably can't make it out, but inside the kernel, you still have the reddish, uh, reddish tint of the, uh, the kernel in that. It is so good. The best part is it's homegrown. Uh, it takes, you know, once it's properly dried and cured, this popcorn is going to last all winter long. Well, potentially if you had enough of it, this is not going to last that long, I can tell you. This popcorn is amazing. It's small, but it's delicious. It's crunchy. It's not like big and fluffy, which I actually prefer a little bit more of a, more of a crunchiness to the popcorn. Uh, it's super light, mm, nutty, just all around awesome flavor. Yeah, guys, definitely, you definitely have to give the strawberry popcorn a try. I'm definitely going to plant a lot more this next year and aim to uh, just have an extra, uh, you know, extra large amount because I really like this a lot. This is better than the stuff you can buy at the store. So good, so easy to grow, so easy to take care of. It's decorative, it's ornamental, it's delicious. Give it a shot, you won't be disappointed. All right, guys, so from my hillside to yours, wherever you may be, if you've liked what you've seen here, please go ahead and consider subscribing. If you do like what you did see, give it a thumbs up. And if you've grown strawberry popcorn before, or if you have any questions about how to grow it or how to cure it or how to cook it even, just leave a comment down below. I'll be happy to answer it for you guys. So from my, my table to wherever you may be, we'll see you next time up here on the hillside. Bye-bye. So good. So good. I'm gonna, you gotta go now. I'm finishing my popcorn. Weird, don't watch people eat. Creep me out. All right.